Last time on Minecraft Create Nations, we built this super cozy and rustic hobbit hole starter base. And let me tell you, we've got a lot of work to do. As super and cozy as this place is, with all the food that's being grown around here, I am rapidly, rapidly running out of resources. This is my last eight bread. I only got one more apple, and the inside of this place is... Ah, uh, a little too rustic for my needs. But look, I've only got nine iron, and I only have two pickaxes. Oh my gosh, I am just running out of stuff left, right, and center. We need a lot of things, and we have a lot to do today. One of the things I'd like to do to today, or soon, is build an iron farm in this house somehow. But as you can see, there is no house to build a farm in. I would also like to dig out a lot of this so we can actually get started on making this a house. But I can't do that without the proper tools. It's raining, which I guess you can't see from the window. It's raining, which is uh, something, you know, that I... I don't want to do today it doesn't really make any sense <laughs> and although picking these crops is you know super super rustic and fits with the theme of being a hobbit i'd like a little steadier and easier supply of food and also coffee i want, I want some coffee now i know this is creating usually the best place to start to get some iron or get better tools is to go under the ground with a big old drill and start drilling a whole bunch of stuff but I kind of need iron in order to do that, and finding iron has been absolutely terrible. It, it's, it just hasn't worked out at all. So what I think I'm going to do to get a, a little bit of quicker tool gathering system going on is with this little guy right here, known as the Emerald. We're just going to pay a visit to this village over here on the other side of the hill and hope that at least, like, two or three of these guys are still alive. Um... Well, it's safe to say that at least a couple are still alive. What are you doing in that hole, you idiots? Get out of there! Oh my gosh, they're the worst. Villagers are the absolute worst. And I forgot to bring the profession blocks that I made. Back to the house. Well, I was trying to get some more iron. <laughs> and, uh, and I made, a, I made a dummy. Is this guy gonna, is he still angry with me? He's not. Okay, cool. So let's just do this. Transfer items. Golly, that scared the heck out of me. Hey, we got our first death. It's right there. Oh, it's, it's still breathing. My corpse is still breathing. That's... That's a little creepy, but that's okay. Let's just try this again. Hopefully this guy can hit me, and he can't. Good. It's so interesting to me that iron golems don't, like, proc other iron golems when you tick one off. Like, I hit him. These guys should all be going after me, but I guess not. Oh, no, Timmy. Oh, no. Get out of there. Oh, my gosh, Timmy, I hate you more than anyone. What a deal, jerk. Now, the reason I hate Timmy is because it took way too long for me to get the correct trade from him. And Remundo does it immediately. Incredible. Timmy, I hate you. Three Fletchers in here, all with the stick trade. Ladies and gentlemen, we ha now have a money printing machine. I got stuff over here. I got big old trees growing. <laughs> we are just going to start printing money. And the next thing I'd like to start printing is food. And... I don't think I want those trades, pal. That's what I'm looking for. We want to buy some rabbit stew. Thanks, buddy. Now, I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, hey, throw. Listen, butchers? Butchers? Oh, I got a new backpack, by the way. <laughs> they have the worst ADHD. Uh, underneath the hobbit hole, there was a big old place that I didn't light up, and I heard some music coming out of it. And there was a Zombro with an iron backpack with a jukebox upgrade, and I don't think it even had the disc in it, which I was really bummed about because it was a jam, but... Yeah, I got, a, I got a new backpack, so that's super helpful. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, butchers. Why are butchers helpful? Well, you only have to trade them a little bit of iron for them to unlock level 2. And level 2 unlock for butchers specifically gets you just straight up cooked meat. Like, legit just straight up cooked meat. Which is unbelievably incredible. <laughs> and I think Rosie is going to be our next contestant on the village's right. And Rosie is going to be our toolsmith if she ever figures out where she's trying to go right now. Oh, you know what I bet she latched onto was these over here. Break those apart. And Rosie the toolsmith. Very cool. Rosie the riveter toolsmith. Um, I can't lock you in because I don't have any emeralds. Stay right here. Well, I'm going to spend the next, uh, God only knows how long, cut down trees, trading with villagers, getting all the tools and all the things that I need. I'll see you guys in like, I don't know, six, seven years, maybe? I don't know, it'd be like an hour. Anyways, folks, I'll see you in a bit. Ah, uh, Zabby! Well, that was extremely successful, sort of. And I say sort of because you can see that diamond shovel that I have in the hotbar. You can see I got 39 levels, which hopefully I don't lose. Oop. 
tree. And I also have two diamond picks and they come on the breaking too. There are three Fletchers over here and I have been fighting. As you can see, they're up to super duper high trades. I just got them down to 32. Gosh, this morning, 31, I think. And over here, we've got our other three nitwits. So, or idiots, they're not nitwits. <laughs> we've got, and this is all bugged. It's not Timmy the Fletcher. This is Jetta the Butcher. But all I care about is the cooked chicken trade. Everything else from a butcher is really just not worth it. Let's be perfectly honest. The only things that are worth it are the chicken and pork chops. And you can only eat one of each. Next over here, we have Timmy the Fletcher, which is actually Rosie the Toolsmith. And Rosie's selling us unbreaking one shovels for, I think, 13, but they're down to nine. And these unbreaking two pickaxes, this is incredible. This is probably the best villager trade I've ever gotten for 20 emeralds, 24 normally. The problem I'm running into over here is Ian, who, the weaponsmith, which is not bugged for some reason. Anyways, Ian's buying coal, he's selling iron axes, buying iron, selling bells, and also buying flint. Now, as you can see, Ian is a journeyman and we need to get Ian to the next level. And of course it just started raining. This is so ominous. <laughs> We need to get Ian to the next level because at expert, Ian's going to start selling diamond axes. And that's really what I'm missing because my toolsmith decided to buy diamonds instead of selling me axes. The problem is Ian needs 150 experience in order to get to expert. Now I could just literally buy 150 iron axes. I, I have the emeralds for it. I, I could do that. I don't want to. That'll take forever. It'll go through all of my emeralds. I won't have any for the axe. I, I don't want to do that. My other option is to sell iron ingots 15 times and I don't have any I just went on a little mining trip I got a whole bunch of ingots I sold them to Ian and that's what got me the flint trade so we are really really hurting for iron right now but if you remember Ian also buys flint and with create an iron farm actually is kind of a flint farm where some iron comes out every now and then I'm gonna move this up here for no other reason than I want to so I think what we might do is set up a bit of an iron farm over at the hobbit hole somewhere we might even do it over here I have an idea for an iron farm in the hobbit hole but we're not there yet so we're gonna set up an iron farm it will give us flint as well and we can sell that flint straight to Ian and get ourselves our better tools but first it's time to shreeps so I'm setting something up here. It's temporary. This is temporary, all right? It's not going to be like last time where this lasts until, like, episode 20. I promise, all right? I promise. Anyways, setting a little something up. We've got a millstone over here, and I think what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to put, like, a chest on top of it, and another one of these chutes, I guess, that goes into the top. I think that's going to work. And then as I'm digging out cobblestone... I just, I can put it up here and then it'll mill it. It'll go down as gravel and come over here and get blown on and then drop down here. I don't know if this is long enough. I don't, I don't have any idea what I'm doing here. I gotta be perfectly honest. Here's the problem, right? I got these guys, they are a going. Hopefully they can not only feed this one and that one with enough power, but my, my biggest issue right now is I need some gearboxes. <laughs> I don't, I don't really have enough for gearboxes at the moment. I need just, I need more andesite alloy, okay? Oh, and I found a diamond. I got andesite, that's not the problem. The pro I don't wanna use my zinc, but uh, All right, fine. Well, I had more andesite, where'd it go? It's not over here either, huh? Well, that's not good. Don't judge me, I'm doing my best. This thing is hideous. <laughs> I accidentally hit this with the with the, uh, the archwood trees and oof, yeah, just, ooh. Anyways. So we've, <laughs> we've got some jiggery pokery going on back here so we can get this fan sped up so we can go all the way across here. And I was like, you know what? Let's just get a shaft going across this way. And instead of doing, yeah, gears on gears on gears. Don't worry about it. So now this thing's going pretty fast. And if I grab some cobblestone, I just want to see how quickly this gets milled. Oh yeah, that is so super slow. It should absolutely be done by the time it reaches that shaft. Processing by particle. I think that did it. I think that did it. We're getting nothing though. And that's concerning. <gasps> Yay, iron, iron. Oh my gosh, iron. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. And we have flint as well. So if we just let this thing run, so we've got one iron nugget and one flint. Very cool, very, very cool. And if I was a smart person, if, I would put my last shoot here and instead of <laughs> the chest, I would have a drawer with flint and nuggets. Let's let's do that, that's that's a good idea. Oh, and I made a wrench, by the way, cause uh, it, was, it was a nightmare. For some reason, I don't know if it's this mod pack or what's going on, but I can't get these guys 
to like go correctly. Let me let me show you what I mean here. So let me take these two guys off of here and I'm gonna put this cog wheel on here. And as you can see, it goes there. And here's the problem. I can't get it to go on the side. Like normally I can get it to go on the side of these and, and, and it just doesn't, it will not. So if I, let me see, if I do that, all right, so it will on that one. For some reason, it wasn't over here. It was only going on the end. I didn't have the option to do this. I actually had to place these down kind of like this and then rotate them with the wrench. For some reason, they just weren't going like they should have. Anyways, if anybody know what's, knows what's up with that, just let me let me know. What am I doing? Trees, right. Oh, duh, that's not going to work. Just the, the nuggets are just going to go in there and get stuck. Yeah, duh, jeepers. All right. Well, at least we tried. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we dig. To start out this time lapse, I really want to just thank everybody so much for all the love and support on the first episode. Holy cow, you guys came out with a vengeance. Incredible support. Thank you all so very, very much. Now, my top comments were essentially, did you add this? You should add that mod, etc., etc." And I love all these suggestions. I absolutely do, and I want to hear more of them. Please let me know whatever, what else you think we should put in this mod pack. Because I feel like this is something that I'm going to be changing and growing as the series goes on. I'll probably add some here, maybe add another one over there, depending on what nation we're going to be building, etc. On that note, I want to talk specifically about mine colonies because it's come up a bunch of times and I am on the fence with it. I need to do a little bit more testing with it and if somebody could give me the pros and cons in the con comments, that would be fantastic. Essentially, I want to build my own buildings, I want to build my own nations. But somebody had said, I can't remember the name, I'm so sorry, that there was a way that the villagers from mine colonies would be able to attach to the buildings that you make in a certain way. It's just something that I feel like I probably just need to test. But I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on mine colonies. Once we break a little bit more into ours, we're going to add ours Creo most likely, as well as maybe a couple other ones. Because somebody showed me something that was a Starbuckle, like, running wheel, and it's the cutest thing in the world, and I need it. And one of the other big things that I've really been looking for is I want to find a way to take carts that like go on a rail network from create back and forth between towns that are pulled by animals and I can't find anything that would allow that to happen without the, the train quote unquote because it is a train run over and kill the animals. I, I'm having such an issue if somebody could find anything that would like have automated carts going back and forth that animals don't need to be on seats for because the seats I can't make them invisible I, just anything would be super fantastic if you had any ideas I do have a workaround for it right now I'm brewing in my brain parts but any help would be great I'd really like to stay away from mods and resource packs that kind of change the way Minecraft looks because I do enjoy Minecraft's look. I know that there are a bunch out there that would just make the game look more quote unquote medieval fantasy, but I like what I'm doing and I like the chip mod and I think we're going to stick with that. But if you have any other mod suggestions, I'd love to hear them. You can join our Discord, link should be in the description, where you can come hang out with us, give us the mod suggestions, etc, etc. But I think that's enough digging for today, let's get back to the video. Well, that's probably too much, but I kind of figure enough is good, more is better, and too much is best, right? <laughs> now, in all of this that I dug out, I found zero iron. I also found zero andesite. I didn't find any zinc, but man, do we have enough coal to last us, like, for friggin' ever. Oh my gosh. Uh, I dug 32 out of the walls so far. There's probably another, jeez, like, almost 50 pieces of coal in here, and... If I can get out my door... I have been churning up cobblestone the entire time. And that has gotten us so far. We got a little bit extra in here. 96 iron nuggets and 204 flint. And that 96 iron nuggets turns out to be 10 ingots. That's actually way less than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> ah, that actually sucks so much. I was kind of hoping to get an anvil so I could put these diamond pickaxes together when this one really starts to break. But it's only about halfway through. Yeah, it's less than halfway through, so we should be fine for a little while. However, what I'm more excited about is the 200 and some odd flint and all the dirt we got. Now, the dirt is just straight up for terraforming <laughs> purposes. I do a lot of terraforming, so having the dirt is super important. And you know what? I'm such a silly billy. I totally forgot to harvest my crops before I started digging. So I could have had a whole harvest, but that, you know what? That's okay. Because now that we have, what is it, like Jedder the Butcher or whatever the heck their name is, we pretty much have unlimited food for right now, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, let's see if we can... Oh, easy. Easy peasy. Ready? Bam. Maybe not. Oh, I gotta redo this and this and this and this and that and this and then... Gimme, 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 gimme. Fortune? Yeah. Huh? Is right. 
Fortune's the worst for an axe, dude. Ugh. All right, hey. I got free diamond axe, though, so I'm not too worried about it, I guess. I want a diamond axe. Boom. Fortune, one. And that's okay, honestly, because what that means is we can just scrape it off with a grindstone. And actually, there's a grindstone in here. Of course there is. That's that dude's profession block. Boom. Bam. Ah. I don't care about your fortune now. And actually, I'm going to buy two of them just so we can unlock the Saber Sword. Give me the Saber Sword. Give me the Saber Sword. Sword has... Of course it has Bane of Arthur. <laughs> it's got looting two as well and knockback one. What is this? <laughs> That's, that's so stupid. That's so stupid. Oh, look, I made my first sword. Oh my gosh, quests. Oh my gosh, I forgot about quests. Uh, uh let me clear my pockets because I'm sure I get a whole bunch of stuff for doing quests. So I went through and I collected all the quests that I could and this is so interesting. I have all of these done. They're all done all the way up to here. They're all done all the way up to here. I never got a stone pickaxe, so I can't actually collect them. <laughs> so I, I literally have to use this, get some sticks, use some of this cobblestone, and I have to make a stone pickaxe, and then look at all those quests that I just completed. I'm just gonna toss that over there. That's so funny. So now I've got this stone pickaxe, whoop de doo It gives me some coal, I can get some lapis, I actually get another diamond. <laughs> this is crazy. And that's right, I get three more iron just because I, I made an iron pickaxe, or I got one from the, the, the villagers before. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. Oh, and I'll get three more diamonds too. That's craziness. I just have to find a place to put all this crap. <laughs> Almost all of this, besides just like a couple of things, and then like this stuff here was all just from those quests. <laughs> I mean, I've got four diamonds. Maybe I should just make some diamond boots. But now that we're actually getting a steady supply of iron, I might just make an armor smith, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I think I have another villager under there. Actually, let's go check it out. Yeah, I got two of them here, so they can start breeding. And I just get an armor smith. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. But oh my gosh, folks, that is so funny. Don't forget about quests. D hey, listen, I don't forget about Dre, but I forgot about quests. Remember that giant cave opening that was, uh, like, right across the way from the base? This guy looks so dapper. Look at this dapper gentleman. Anyways, I'm checking this out just because I need zinc. We Now that we've got that place kind of dug out a little bit more, I want to start a little bit of decoration. And to start a little bit of decoration... Oh, a canary. I really need some zinc. So we're just going to wander around down in here for a little bit. Just kind of light things up. That way it's less treacherous the next time we need to come in here and get some of that stuff right there. I've already got a little bit. Let's get a little bit more. I got a ton of resources. Yeah, who cares? Uh, more important, look, I got a canary. It looks like a little yellow ducky. It's so cute. Here you go, my little canary guy. You can just hang out right there. Have fun. Enjoy your new home. All right, what do we get? Oh, we got a little bit over a stack of zinc. That's great. I, I wanted at least a stack. And we got another 23 iron. That's fantastic because I can actually make myself a chest plate now. Probably should have done that while I was there. But what does this really mean? This really means that I can start decorating the inside of the house. <laughs> and that's really, honestly, folks, what's more, more, most, wow. And that's really, honestly, folks, what's most important. I got it. I got it out. I got it out eventually. Took me a while, but I got there. And it's at this point that I remembered... My build is made out of sandstone. And why is that a problem, you ask? Well, this is this is all the sand we have. That that's it. That that and that's sand. That's not sandstone. And it's got to be it's got to be smelted down into smooth sandstone as well. We're in trouble. <laughs> and here's why we're in trouble. Those with keen eyes probably saw that I made a nature's compass. And right now I'm looking for a beach, and there is one 300 blocks. That of McWay, but I don't want a beach, folks. I want to. I want to mine sand out of a desert, like Minecraft intended. But guess what? Closest desert, five thousand blocks in that direction. Five, five thousand blocks. I got no elytra. I got a horse, but I'm sure there's gonna be ocean. I, I got no jetpack because those are shut off in this mod pack. Five thousand blocks. Now the completionist in me is like, yeah, we can just walk 5,000 blocks that way. That's no big deal. I got 27 chicken. We'll make it. But the realist in me is like, that's going to take 37,000 years. And in 37,000 years, I'm going to be like, you know, stardust and stuff. 5,000 blocks. Oh my gosh. We could, we could probably go through the nether. I got, I got diamond pickaxe. I have gold armor. I got really crappy armor. We could go through the nether and that's 600-ish blocks if my math is correct. Yeah, 625 blocks in the nether, which isn't too bad. But if I'm going to go to the nether and i'm gonna travel like a half a thousand blocks 
I might as well just look for another fortress so I can get brass, and then I can make mechanical crafters so I can make crushing wheels, right? Like, ugh, 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 I hate traveling. I hate, I hate, I hate traveling. And here's the other thing, right? When we get out there, uh, I, my, my shovel doesn't even have efficiency on it. <laughs> and I'm, I'm over here because I wanted some of this. Like, if we're going to go to the nether, I'm going to need some of this stuff, right? And the other issue is, while I mine this obsidian at a snail's pace, I, I hate the nether. I absolutely hate going to the nether. I hate being in it. I hate being around it. The nether is the worst. And knowing my luck, we're going to spawn in a soul sand valley. There's going to be 17 gas that are all going to shoot my butt up, and it's going to be awful, and I'm going to explode and die. Plus, I have a really cool idea for a nether portal build, and I'm not ready for it yet, so... Ugh. Let me mine this obsidian out at a snail's pace, and I'll think about what in the heck I want to do here. All right, we're going to check out and see what the stupid nether looks like, and I'm going to hate it. I'm going to hate it. I can tell already. Enter the nether. Okay, honestly, that's not that bad. <laughs> that's, 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 wait, oh, that sucks. That that severely sucks a lot. But this, this isn't that bad. Golly, that is a huge lava lake. All right, for some reason, the nether's rendering in very weird. I, I don't know what that's all about. But, God, there is just so much lava. I hate this place. <laughs> I'm hiding in a cheaty little hidey hole, and I'm using my cheaty little map, and I'm looking down, and I see there's another fortress right over here. Look at this. Ready? goes all the way down about 300 blocks away and and it's and it's just lava <laughs> it's just lava <laughs> i hate the nether this is the craziest this is the most lava i've ever seen ever ever in another and it might be that just like the map is rendering weird because i'm a little bit high up but i guess what i could do oh i have no idea where which way to look now there we go this way oh hi buddy it could be that I could just climb up there uh, as a gas. I could just climb up there and then like just run a, like right close to the nether ceiling, I guess. I could give that a shot. Don't come in here with me. Yeah, hi, there's no reason. Thank you. But I, I think we're severely underprepared for this trip. So um, we're just, we're going to leave. We're just, we're just gonna leave. Well, that was super fun, and I never want to go back ever again. So I think what we're gonna do in the meantime is I'm just gonna find, like, a relatively large beach biome and destroy it. <laughs> that's one that's not relatively close to us as well. Because, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build little places all over the place around here, so I don't want to destroy something that's too close just in case we want to, you know, settle down, uh, you know, just a little bit of ways. And I'm in free cam just to show you our hobbit holes right there. Come over just here to the shore. Look what we got. Bum, bum, and a little bit over there, bum. And, oh, do I want to destroy this beautiful and natural habitat that's literally right outside of our doorstep? And the answer to that question is a resounding yes. We're just going to head right over there. <laughs> and we're not going to get distracted and tempted. Evil temptress. We are going to get tempted by zinc, though. And actually, if we can get just direct sandstone just by digging down a little bit further, that might be incredible as well. Okay, I, I, li I like this a lot better. Uh, we don't destroy the natural habitat. We just dig underneath the sand to get directly to the sandstone. Yes. All right, I couldn't help myself. So we got uh, some iron, some ingots, you know, that sort of stuff. And gold and whatnot. Where are we going? So that's, uh, what, to the to the east? Into the south. That's the southeast. Look at that. That's where we're headed. All right, let's go check it out. All right, according to this, it should be right here. And I hate this already. Wow, that looks so deep, too. How deep is it? Extremely. Whoa! Are you serious? <laughs> Ugh. Should be like right under there. All right, let me let me make a door. And anything good? Oh, uh, you know, another diamond. That's not bad. Great success. We got like 12 stacks of sandstone or something like that. And watch this. Bam. Fan. We got some cobble cobble. We're gonna put a shaft right there. Put a lava bucket right there. And now we can, ow! Oh gosh, that hurts so bad, jeepers. And now all we gotta do is hope does this reach all the way, oh, that didn't work. Does this reach all the way over here? It doesn't, ooh, that sucks, ooh. All right, no big deal, we just gotta put that there. And we can do this. And now we should just be able to throw our sandstone in here and collect it from this corner over here. And eventually, Oh, there it goes. All right, cool. Now we have smooth sandstone. Yeah, so we don't have to waste all of our coal and charcoal and stuff on making the smooth stuff. Awesome.
So I wanted to give you a progress update. You can probably see the uh, particles behind me. Yeah, the wandering nerd just walked in. Apparently it's nighttime. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh, I gotta sleep. I gotta sleep right now. I gotta go find emeralds now. All right, know me, know me, know me. You are my absolute favorite wandering trader that I've ever had, ever. I got, I need, I need, I need things. I need things now, now. I gotta go back to the village for emeralds because, oh my gosh, I forgot I didn't tell you guys this. You know how that desert was 5,000 blocks away? Well, guess what? The nearest mangrove is 6,000, I think it was 6,500 blocks. That, that, that was a dream. <laughs> it was a dream that that guy just showed back up. Oh my gosh. You are, you are my favorite wandering trader that I've ever had show up ever, ever in my life. And I mean, while we're at it, we're gonna buy some coral as well, and packed ice? Now there's a bunch of packed ice behind us. Let's buy, uh, dude, uh, you're kind of obnoxious, so you can't stay. However, you're, you can stay for a little while, all right? Th this is, this is the most helpful I've ever had a wandering trader be ever. <laughs> Planting that down feels so good. <laughs> Not having to walk 6,500 blocks feels so good. <laughs> yeah, here's the nature's compass. There, yeah, literally, legitimately 6,500 blocks from right here is a mangrove swamp. It's the closest mangrove swamp. So, oh my gosh, that's incredible. And buying those propagules is a perfect segue into a little progress update. Now, over here is not done. This is going to be our little kitchen and. Uh, uh, Wow, sorry, that didn't work. Dining room and probably pantry area, maybe over here, maybe tucked into the hallway a little bit as well. Uh, we got our little entrance going on, right? And I love the little brick that's here and the, the walkway with the different types of stripped oak and, and spruce. And you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna have it branch out in this direction as it comes together. And then over here, we'll have like a little library seating area, that sort of thing. But yeah, it is coming together pretty well. I am in love with these chandeliers. I absolutely adore them. And also these little, what are they, wall candle holders? They're super expensive because they require an ingot and honeycomb. And I've been stealing honey from these guys. I just got a campfire that I keep picking up with the carry-on mod and putting it back down <laughs> because if it's under there, they can't figure out how to get in. Bees are so silly. I am almost done with the, the hallway and all that sort of stuff. And then we just have to do the decoration on the inside and we should be all set with the interior of this for now. Another quick progress report. We've got the whole place essentially fleshed out. I just, I have one issue. These hallways are, they're way too big. These are massive. These are absolutely massive. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the wall, the back wall in. One or two blocks? Probably two blocks. We're going to pull the back wall in two blocks. This is just it's so much time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no efficiency means that this just, this just takes forever to do. But that's okay. That's okay. Perfectionism is setting in. I got to get this done. And I just came out here right next to the spawn village and I found this earlier because I remember seeing this was all lit up. Just went through this chest and I have I have a, a totem of torrents now, I guess, and a lure. Lure one fishing rod. That's pretty cool. Uh, the rest of the ore and the stuff I'm going to leave there, but I just want these sea pickles so I can farm some lime dye. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, blast a sea pickle, you get lime dye. Very cool. Let's check this out. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I only got 32 uses out of it. I wonder if I can put like mending and a breaking on it. That's pretty dope though. And earlier the wandering lead salesman sold us some coral blocks. So bam, renewable pickles. Gotta love it. And of course I went through all that trouble just to make slime balls, just to make super glue. And I probably could have done this so much quicker with like not doing that, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, let's put a little cobblestone here and a sticky piston, bam, an extension pole and break this off. And we need to actually hang on hang on because we actually want to bring this forward two blocks So if we just do this and then do that BAM look at that We didn't even have to do anything except for go find some stuff and then find some other things and then waste a whole bunch of time But that's okay. Hey now. I don't have to tear the whole wall down and build it all the way back up <laughs> Yes Yes, 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 that is much better. The only thing it's missing is this guy running down the center here. Whoops. Yep, that is much better. It is way cozier. It looks way better than whatever the heck I was trying to do here. This is insanely huge. So the only thing I need to do is move the rest of it. Good change. This is a very good change. This still feels big and open and inviting. These areas still feel nice and cozy as well. These little side rooms. And then once we get into the hallways, they also start to feel nice and cozy too. So this, this was a good change. I'm very happy with 
how this turned out. This has taken me way too long, uh, probably a good 10 hours. <laughs> but now the real work begins because I have to decorate the whole place. And don't worry, we're going to have more rooms than just these ones as well. We need a bedroom and a storage room and all that sort of stuff, but I'm just not ready for that yet. So this is what we're working with so far, and we'll expand in the next, uh, the next couple of episodes. Yeah, I got to fix my floor design too. Yeah, I lied. I did the uh, the storage room in the pantry. I also swapped this out to be red, and I think I like it a lot better, at least from the inside. Hi, Eva. We got Eva somewhere. There she is. Hello, Eva. I think I at least like this from the inside. The outside, I'm not 100% on it yet. I keep I'm flopping back and forth. Let me know what you think down in the comments between the mangrove and the green. But look at this place. Oh my gosh, they added so much between McCaw's furnitures and supplementaries and such. Just these books leaning up all over the place are incredible, but we have a little sitting room here with a little fireplace, office to, uh, to you know, write our books and all that sort of such. We got a couple of paintings, you probably recognize that one, as well as, you know, another little painting over here, and that's using the immersive paintings, and then we have these really cool item shelves where we can, you know, just show off some things that I don't really know what they do yet. <laughs> and then I try to go for a little bit of just subtle decoration in the hallway, and then once we get over to the kitchen, we have our catches from the day. I think this wall needs either another catch or a painting. Place to sit down and have some delicious shepherd's pie, as well as some roast chicken. And, of course, the kitchen in a hobbit hole is one of the most important things in a hobbit hole, as well as the pantry. We got a little area to, you know, get some get some drink if we need it, as well as all of our different food. And this isn't quite done yet. There's a lot that I need to finish in here still, but it is a nice start to a pantry. And last but certainly not least, we have a little storage room here, and I went a little too big <laughs> on this storage room, but I hate having all of that storage just sitting out here. As you can see, I've already cleaned up a lot of the stuff that was out here, including, you'll see the iron farm was missing there, and that's because it is back here behind this wall. Look at this guy here. It's super slow, so once we get a little bit of a um, a way to do this a little bit faster, but this is working. It breaks a little piece of cobble, mills a little piece of cobble, uh, kind of all at the same time. And then we have a fan that just blows along anything that is uh, created from washing the gravel just right into this hopper. And that hopper is right behind this drawer controller here, which will deposit all of our iron and flint into these two drawers. So not only does this room look pretty decent so far, I, again, it's not done. We still have this whole side of the, uh, the room to finish. It is still also functional. Why are you gents putting stuff over here? Apparently I need to make a drawer key to lock all of these. And the last thing that we haven't done yet is a bedroom, which I will have to complete between episodes. I just, I don't have the time to do it or the capacity to do it right now. Unenchanted tools are just, oof, they are brutal to work with. But folks, that is all the time that I have for today. I'm so sorry we didn't have more time. I want to thank every single one of you for watching episode one. It is the highest viewed video on my channel so far. Incredible. And we're only about 200-ish subs away from 3,000. Incredible, folks. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for your support on this. Huge thank you to my members, my YouTube members. We've got Johnny, Matthew, Bot, and Moon Goddess, as well as my patrons, Hugh Soul, Carlos, Dusk, and Wraith. Thank you, everybody, for all of your support. I appreciate every single one of you so very, very, very much, and we will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!